Yo, what is up, everybody? This is Kay Rail, Chief Fitness Advisor for Pine Pollen Superfoods and Train for Longevity. Today, I decided to do a little Facebook Live, which I have not done in a long, long time, on this page. And get ready because I'm going to be doing a series of lives coming up in the very near future. And I'm going to be talking about a lot of fun stuff that you are going to find very beneficial, such as kettlebells, which are one of my favorite things. And as you can see, I have some in the background there because my life never goes without kettlebells. And I'm always within about 10 feet. Of kettlebells and those about five feet away but I digress today we're going to be talking about how to build muscle naturally this has been a question that has been posed to us here at train for longevity for a while now and I know Michael wrote a article on it a couple of weeks back and posted it and I'm gonna expand a little bit more so people often ask me how do you get so ripped how do you get so lean and how do you maintain muscle mass and especially how do you do this as you get up over 40 years old well there are some secrets and some shortcuts that I'm going to unveil to you right now that I utilize and that you can utilize as well. And you're probably doing some of them too. One of the things is you have to think outside the box and don't pay attention to common knowledge and that which the experts, the self-proclaimed experts have told you for years. For example, six meals a day is not the best way to build muscle mass naturally. In my opinion, I go the complete opposite direction. So let's just put this into perspective to build muscle. It all has to do with hormones. It has to do with optimizing your HGH levels and your testosterone levels, bottom line right there, both of which are quintessential for building and maintaining lean muscle mass, having strong bones, having good brain function, function sleeping well, and all these, and having reco good recoveries from your workouts too. So if you're doing all those things and dotting all those I's and crossing all those T's, you're gonna be able to build lean muscle mass and you're gonna be able to maintain it over time. Now, one of the key things that I do to build muscle naturally. And I'm talking like, when I say natural, I mean supplements are fine, especially if they're whole food supplements. Pine pollen is totally fine. The grizzly bear stuff that Michael has is fine. But when you're talking about synthetic things and things that are illegal, that's bad news. Steroids, let's just throw it out there, okay? That's bad news. That should not be done to build lean muscle mass. You don't need it. What you need to do is this. You need to think smart and you need to act smart all the time. So right now, I'm kind of sitting in the sunlight. You can't see me. If you expose your body to sunlight, especially in the summertime when it's nice and warm outside, your body produces a high amount of vitamin D, precursor to testosterone. Your testosterone levels elevate, your HGH levels elevate. Get yourself out in the sun, a minimum of 20 minutes a day in the summer. Try to get as much of your body exposed to the sun as you possibly can. And that right there, my friends, is a biohack. That is going to help. Hey, baby, John, how you doing? That is going to help boost your HGH levels and testosterone. It's going to help you build muscle naturally. Okay, now, sleep is absolutely quintessential. If you get four hours of sleep a night, five hours of sleep a night, you're not giving your body enough time to recover. Building muscle has to do with not necessarily the time that you're in the gym, but the time you're out of the gym. It's all of the steps that happen outside the gym that lead to good results inside the gym. Sleep cannot be understated enough. It is so critically important for recovery that it's not even funny. There's a lot of metabolic processes that occur while you're sleeping as well. One of which is this, insulin levels go down and HGH levels go up. So HGH is going to help boost your immunity. It's going to help blast your recoveries through the roof, and it's going to help you build more lean muscle mass. So you want to capitalize on that any chance you get. So if you're getting good quality sleep every single night, that's going to help you build much muscle naturally. I would suggest somewhere between seven and eight hours. And I know that might sound impossible for some of you, but trust me when I tell you this, it's super vitally important. Try to make it happen in your schedule and make it happen. Now, here's another thing. Late night eating, and this kind of goes in conjunction with sleeping. Even if you're having, uh, if you wake up in the middle of the night and have a, a case in protein shape because you think your muscles are going to catabolize, you're absolutely 100% dead wrong. What you're going to do is you're going to interrupt your sleep cycle. You're going to ask your pancreas to release insulin. Insulin rises, HDH plummets. Late night eating is the worst thing you could possibly do for lean muscle mass. So try to cut down your meals by 7 p.m. or earlier. That's why we're big into fasting here at Train for Longevity. And I suggest even earlier than that, the earlier the better that you finish eating in the afternoon, the better off you're going to be when it comes to building lean muscle mass. So I would say separate your last meal from the time you go to bed by a minimum of two hours, but even better would be three hours. Last night I finished by 5.30 and I went to bed at like 10.30. So five hours of time had already gone by before I went to bed. My insulin levels were already dropped. HGH went up. I had a magnificent recovery last night when I slept and I had a dominating workout this morning, which brings me do another thing you can do to build muscle naturally, and that is work out in a fasted state, especially early in the morning. So all you men out there that are listening, approximately somewhere between 4.20 and 4.50 a.m. in the morning, you get a big blast, natural blast of testosterone, 
which is what causes the morning wood, as it's called, the morning erection. So that's why you get the morning erection, because you, your body naturally boosts testosterone at, the, at that hour. It's part of the uh, circadian rhythm, basically. So if you can program your body to go to bed earlier, get at least seven hours of sleep, wake up in the morning, drink a bunch of water, hit the gym at like 0, 0,500, your testosterone levels are still going to be rather elevated, and you're in a fasted state, so insulin is going to be low. Human growth hormone, HGH, will be high. Do the math. Your body's going to be able to produce a high amount of hormones necessary to build and maintain lean muscle mass. So if you can sail into workouts every day early in the morning on a fasted state, your insulin is going to be low, your HGH is going to be high, your testosterone is going to be high, you're going to be able to build muscle naturally. Then when you're done working out, don't worry about slam and shake as soon as you're done working out or getting fed in that golden hour or whatever the heck they call it or whatever the um, experts over the years have farmed you to believe. That's, not, that's absolute nonsense. It's not true at all. I continue my fast on for well after I'm done working out. I finished this morning at about 7.30. It's already almost 11 o'clock. It's about 11 o'clock my time. How many hours has that gone by? Eight, nine, 10, three and a half hours have passed and I still haven't eaten yet. And I'm not gonna eat today until like one o'clock because I'm doing another workout at 12 o'clock where I know my HDS levels are gonna be through the roof. So I always try to capitalize on the medium of fasting in conjunction with working out. So always aim to work out in a fasted state. That is absolutely key. And when you do that over a series of time, your body's gonna become fat adapted. And then your body's gonna fuel on fat throughout the whole course of the day, 24 to 48 hours. So your body becomes fat adapted and you're gonna be able to build and maintain lean muscle mass. You don't have to worry about anything like that. And as far as your diet choices are concerned, it doesn't matter if you're vegan or plant-based or whole food plant-based or a carnivore or a balanced diet or um, flexible, or flexitarian, whatever you wanna call yourself. The fasting windows are the key thing. So if you work out fasted and you stay fasted for a little while after your workout, that's going to go a long way when it comes to building and maintaining lean muscle mass. And this whole thing about your, your muscles catabolize if you don't eat immediately after your workout or an hour after your workout, absolutely untrue, 100% lies. I don't know where people have been hearing this from all these years. Unless you are literally like 4% body fat, you're not going to catabolize after workout. I promise you. I People look at me all the time, you're so lean, you're so lean. I got plenty of fat on my sides or my body to maintain myself for three hours after a workout before I eat. And I'll tell you what, when I eat that first meal, I can just feel my body absorb those nutrients and I just explode. I feel expanded, I feel solid as a rock, and I just know that, the, that everything's working perfectly. So that's another biohack right there to building muscle mass. Now I'm gonna throw one more thing out there for you, and this is improve your gut health. So we always talk about strengthening the core. You wanna have a strong core because it's quintessential for doing power lifts, it's quintessential for skiing and staying upright and staying balanced and riding a bike and playing sports and all this stuff. And that's absolutely true. Everything originates from the core. But as much as you wanna work the outside, you also wanna work the inside, which is called the gut. You can call it the microbiome if you want. You can call it gut health. You can call it microbiota, or you can call it um, good gut flora. It doesn't matter. Bottom line is this. You wanna make sure to get your gut in good shape on the inside. So I highly suggest eating a lot of prebiotic foods. Prebiotic foods feed the probiotics which exist in your stomach, and the probiotics are actually what the good bacteria is. So if you get your gut health really high, anything that you eat and consume is going to get broken down and it's going to get absorbed and it's going to be distributed throughout your body. Enter muscle mass. So we want to be able to absorb food well and then it can get dispersed and it can help you recover and it can help you build lean muscle mass. If you're eating six meals a day and you're not digesting well and you don't let your body rest and reset, just think about how the digestion is going to work in your system. It's not going to work that well. So by not eating for longer periods of time, your body automatically goes into a position where your gut starts to naturally produce better bacteria. It's been proven in rodents that a 24-hour fast, just once, one 24-hour fast, boosted a ton of stem cells in the gut to improve gut health. So if you incorporated one 24-hour fast a week, if your gut is in bad shape, this is, that's going to help improve your gut health alone. And if you do a lot of prebiotic foods, such as asparagus, onions, garlic, leeks, oatmeal, opran, bananas, um, Jerusalem artichokes, chicory root, all of these things are prebiotics. So if you can include those in your diet and get your meals down to two a day and have like a 16 hour fasting window, work out fast in the morning, that right there is gonna go a long way in helping you build and maintain lean muscle mass. And if you can eat less food, that's gonna be more absorbable, not overdose on calories and not gain fat. And that food that you're gonna eat is going to be distributed through your system better than if you eat six meals a day and eat double the amount of calories. So technically you can get away with teaching your body how to go more minimalist eat less calories a day, eat less times a day, and get five or six times greater results. So 
That's called money, my friend. And that's about all I have for you today. Actually, I think I'm going to add one more thing in. Now, I'm a big three-dimensional movement guy and a big functional person, and I like to do exercises that are kind of really left of center and off the, off the charts and like out of the box a little bit. If you've seen any of my kettlebell videos where I'm doing circles and all these different things, you know what I'm talking about. So what I'm suggesting is another thing you can do to help build muscle naturally is try to incorporate um, compound exercise into your routine and complex movement patterns. So they're kind of two different things. A compound exercise is any exercise that utilizes more than one muscle or more than one joint at the same time. So a bench press, you're lying on the bench and you're doing this. So your elbows and, and shoulders are both moving and you're recruiting your chest and your shoulders and a couple of subsidiary muscles as well. So that is a compound exercise, a squat. You have a barbell on your back, which I did a video on my, my distaste for back squats. I just don't like them personally. Watch that video and check it out if you want. But anyway, when you're doing a squat, you have triple flexion and extension going on. So you have your ankles, your knees, and your hips are all flexing and extending. So you're recruiting a high amount of lower body muscle fibers. If you're doing a clean and press with a barbell, if you're doing a military press only, even, you're doing your elbow and your shoulder. So anytime two joints and two muscles are working at the same time, you're doing a compound exercise, also known as a multi-joint exercise. By doing these drills and recruiting extra muscle fiber, you're going to be able to build more muscle because you are recruiting more muscles. And because you're using more muscles to do the lift, you're going to be able to use heavier weights as well. And again, let's do the math. If you're going to do more muscle recruitment and you're going to be able to lift more weight doing that, you're going to be able to build more muscle too, all completely naturally. Plus, these type of exercises, compound exercises, send an anabolic response through your system automatically boosting your testosterone and HGH levels even more. So those are also called money. And speaking of boosting testosterone, one last thing you can do when it comes to cardio is you can do high intensity intervals. That has also been proven to boost your testosterone and your HGH levels well after you're finished, 24 hours up, after, oh, up to 24 hours after you're done. And it also accelerates fat burning too for 24 to 48 hours after you're done. So any type of high intensity intervals will do that. And when I do workouts, I'm doing like a lot of body weight and, and light dumbbell type movement patterns and kettlebell movement patterns that are put together in series of like two or three movements combined. That kind of stuff has the same type of money that a compound exercise will afford you because you're recruiting a high amount of muscle fibers and you're firing up your brain cells too. So you get a high neurological load, which can help reduce the aging process. So um, that's about it for now. Put all that together. I know I have a lot of things I just threw at you and have you having you stew upon. So think about some things I just said, take a couple bullet points home with you, take them to the gym with you, take them to the dinner table. And I'm about, um, how many hours faster am I? I'm 17 hours faster right now. And my brain function is just starting to soar right now. I can just feel it. And I'm feeling like really spry and I'm excited to work out again for my second workout in about an hour. So my name is Kay Rail. I'm the chief fitness advisor for Pine Pond Superfoods and Train for Longevity. Make sure to like and share our videos, go to our YouTube page and subscribe to it for all of our cutting edge information. And Please feel free to hit me up anytime if you have any questions or comments. Peace out.